we come to worship the Lord. So let me say greetings and welcome to members and friends of Ebenezer Baptist Church. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Let all the people praise him. Amen. The sermon title is Building on the Solid Rock. And the sermon scripture is Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 through 29. Let me read the scripture. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not. For it was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Amen. Building on the solid rock. The Sermon on the Mountain found in the gospel according to Matthew chapters 5 through chapter 7 contains the great preaching and teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. The sermon opens with the Beatitudes. Blessed are those. And moves on to expound on the salt of the earth and the light of the world, and many other great biblical themes. Matthew concludes Jesus' sermon with the emphasis on the two foundations and the wise and foolish builders. Included here is the invitation to hear the words of Jesus preaching and teaching. Of course, there were other teachers such as the scribes and the Pharisees, but there is no teacher like Jesus, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. So look with me at two responses to Jesus' great teaching and preaching in the Sermon on the Mountain. First, there are the foolish builders. There are those who build on the wrong foundation. There are those who build on words and philosophies and teachings that are not capable of sustaining and advancing life. They build on sand. Listen to what Jesus said and how he said it. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. It's important to not build on a foolish foundation because it's going to rain. And sometimes when it rains, it pours. Jesus said, and the rains descended, 
and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell and great was the fall of it. Amen. Second, there are the wise builders. The wise builders are those who build on a firm foundation. Here's how Jesus said it. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. It matters what we build out of and what we build on. The wise man can't stop the rain when it pours, but he can get ready for it before it comes. Amen. And the rains descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. So we can choose this new year to be foolish builders or wise builders. I recommend that we choose to be wise builders if we want to be successful as this year moves on. The solid rock is right. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Hallelujah. So keep on building on a firm foundation. Who is this rock? Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to extend the invitation to Christian discipleship and invite you to come to Christ Jesus. Maybe you're here and you wish to reach out in faith and say, yes, I want to build on the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. The invitation is extended. Amen. If you're interested in membership at Ebenezer Baptist Church, you may call the church office at 732-247-7700. Two four five nine and express your interest in membership. Or you may go on the church's website and express your interest there in membership at Ebenezer Baptist Church. Amen. It's time to pray. Let's pray the altar prayer. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this day and for all your blessings in it already on this second Sunday in January, the Lord's Day. We come to worship you and to praise your holy and righteous name, for you are worthy to be praised. The Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. So we come, Lord, to say thank you. Thank you for all that you've done for us across these years, even down to this very present moment. For if it had not been for the Lord on our side, where would we be? Thank you, Lord. We know that you are a God who supplies all of our needs according to your riches in glory. And we thank you for blessing us with all the needs of life, health and strength, life itself, family and friends, the blood of Jesus, our personal salvation. Thank you for all that gives life meaning. We thank you, O oh God, for our country. And we come now to pray for the United States of America. Have mercy 
where there is confusion, bring peace out of confusion, for you are the great peacemaker. We pray for our leadership. We pray, O oh God, for those who said, remember me in prayer. We pray for the bereaved. So many people have lost loved ones, and we ask your grace and mercy to fall fresh on them. We pray for those who are sick and suffering. You are the great doctor, no doctor like you. So we want to reach out in faith and touch the hem of your garment. Bless, O oh God, and make whole only as you can do. We bring all of our needs to you. For what you can do for others, you can do for us. And what you've already done, you can do again and again. Bless every church door that opens in your name. Despite these challenging and difficult times, despite virtual reality and technology, we still love you, Lord, and we want to praise your name and declare that you are good all the time. Oh God, we love you. Hear our prayer. Forgive us of our sins. Grant us thy peace. Own us as thy children. And we'll tell somebody of the Lord's goodness every day. In the name of Jesus, the solid rock, we pray. Amen. Ebenezer, don't forget to support the church's ministries through your tithes and offerings. God bless you, Ebenezer Baptist Church family and friends. Be safe and be well and receive the benediction. And now unto him who's able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his Father's throne. Unto Jesus Christ, the great head of the church, peace, power, dominion, and the love of God. Rest, rule, and abide with each of you now and forevermore. Amen.